Hey guys, good morning, it's Lucas. Love to start my mornings by having a cup of coffee, coming out to the yard and looking around, to see what kind of mushrooms are popping up. Rainy morning like today is perfect for some mushroom hunting. Let me show you what I found. So I noticed some wine cap shafaria popping up over here in these beds. We got this guy right here, and then a couple more popping up right here. up a little bit they're still pretty young I'll give these another day before I harvest them if you let them go too long they start to get really big and the bugs will start to um, get in them inside the garden saw these cute little guys over here I'm not exactly sure what these are yet I sort of just classify these as LBMs, little brown mushrooms. With any wild mushroom, you want to be 100% sure you identify it before you try to consume it. And I'm not sure what these are, and there are a lot of mushrooms that look like this that could be deadly. Now back here in the back of my garden, I noticed some new different looking mushrooms popping up in the mulch. Now I planted some wine cap shafaria in this area, but these do not look like wine cap shafaria. They're really cool looking. And I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research to figure out what they are, but they're popping up here and they're popping up over there. There's even one right there. Well, I should go on the other side of the fence and show you this want to be careful I mean I love mushrooms and I like to study them but I'm really really careful about which ones I decide to consume you have no idea what this is <clears throat> gonna have to do a spore print but mushrooms that look like this and mushrooms that are little and brown those are the ones that can be really deadly. Oh, I just saw some more LBMs back this way. These guys right here, little brown mushrooms. Don't want to mess around with these. They're cool to look at, but there's a lot of varieties of mushrooms that look like that, that are deadly. These guys are really interesting. I can't wait to learn more about these. I'll post this on my um on this uh facebook group that i'm a member of this mushroom hunting facebook group and see what they got to say and uh, also take a spore print over here i think we have some ink caps popping up these are cool i never eat these because they spoil so fast but i believe these are edible when you catch them young another cool find I saw these guys popping up too. It's another cool looking mushroom, maybe an ink cap. Not something I'm really interested in trying to eat because they're so small and they're already looking like they're past their prime. Then around here in the front of my house, I found some more wine cap strafaria. I inoculated this whole bed right here last spring and I got some harvest in the fall and already been getting some harvest this spring. But it's funny how you inoculate the bed and then they pop up outside of the bed like here, but also in the grass right here and another one right here. I love seeing the wine cap shafaria popping up all over my yard, front to back. So cool. So yeah, I'm really into foraging mushrooms and growing mushrooms, but you gotta be really, really careful because I have no idea what this is and I'm gonna say it's probably poisonous. It's cool and it's, and it's popping up in the same spot that my wine cap shafaria pops up. So make sure if you wanna grow wine cap shafaria or you wanna forage mushrooms, you really know 
what every single mushroom is before you consume them. Because you could harvest, you know, a dozen wine capsuferia and you mix one of these in there by mistake, it wouldn't be good. But I love mushrooms, they're so mysterious and, and so cool. Even just to find them and to, um, to learn more about them is fun to me. I don't have to eat them all, you know? Hope you guys like that video. It's May in New York, so the mushrooms are starting to pop up all over the place. I'll be spending a lot of time in the woods, seeing what else I can find, but you don't even have to go to the woods. Just, just go in your backyard, check your garden out, especially if you have a lot of wood mulch and it's like a little forest area in the backyard. Have a great day guys and happy mushroom hunting.